if they were in my position, uh, and you know, you live a privileged life, you, you're living in Hawaii in, in paradise and making a ton of money, what would it take to make you leave everything behind? The, the greatest fear that I have regarding um, the outcome uh, for America of these disclosures is that nothing will change. Um, people will see in the media uh, all of these disclosures. They'll know the length that the, the government is going to grant themselves powers unilaterally um, to create greater control over American society and global society. But they, they won't be willing to take the risks necessarily to stand up and fight to change things, to force their representatives to actually take a stand in their interests. Uh, and the months ahead, the, the years ahead, it's only going to get worse until eventually there will be a time where uh, policies will change because the only thing that restricts the activities of the surveillance state are policy. Uh, even our agreements with, with other sovereign governments, we consider that to be uh, a stipulation of policy rather than a stipulation of law. And because of that, a new leader will be elected. They'll flip the switch, uh, say that um, because of the crisis because of the dangers that we face in the world, you know, some, some new and unpredicted threat, we need more authority. We need more power. And there will be nothing the people can do at that point to oppose it. Uh, and it will be turnkey tyranny. A crisis will come up. A crisis will come up. And everything will go under the control of the surveillance state. And it will be... For and it will be turnkey tyranny. <laughs>